what do you get? What do you get when you get the cheapest cigar from the same brand that gives you Adame and Byron? I don't know. It doesn't look bad to me. This is a six dollar cigar. This is not a Connecticut. It's an Ecuadorian Habano Sun Grown. But I must say, for a Sun Grown uh, or Habano, which Habanos would be all Sun Grown, all tobacco is grown in the sun. Even your Maduro is a Connecticut shade. Uh, Ecuadorian Sun Grown most of the time. Ecuadorian Connecticut is mostly just because it's high cloud coverage. Um, in Connecticut Valley, though, in Connecticut. Using cheesecloth, etc. The point is, um, all tobacco is grown outside in the moon and the sun. Because I don't know if you know this. At nighttime, they don't they don't uh, take the tobacco out and put it back in the morning. Um, all tobacco is moon grown, and that's a fact that no one talks about. That I don't give a shit. All tobacco is grown in the moon. Well, what does it do in the moon? What does it do? What does it do? What the fuck does it do? Okay, hi, I'm back, and my MK Ultra handlers gave me a little injection, and uh, oh, sorry about that. This is an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, um, listed as a sun grown. We got a Dominican binder, and we got two different Dominican and a Nicaraguan filler. The Nicaraguan filler is listed as a Lajero. So we might get a little bit of punch out of this little cigar. It's not as small as you think. Three and a half by 50 is really just a uh, Robusto with the first third gone, which... In a way, is that smart? In a way, six dollars. It is the most affordable. The band is amazing. It is the most affordable cigar from United, which has Adebe and Byron. So you could smoke six of these or have one Adebe, maybe seven. Really? That's the question. Is this, it, let's just even say three and a half, so two of these make one cigar. It's like four of these, I'm sorry. Oh. My point is though, this might be enjoyable. I was able to pull this out. Oh, I'm talking dirty now. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna try to What am I going to try to do? I want, I want to, I want to, I want to smoke this. I have an idea. Well, I took that, that long cap, uh, pigtail that's not pigtail, I guess. Uh, and I added it to the foot to give it some extra tobacco. Hmm. Draw is perfect. And, um. Am I supposed to maybe with that just smoke it? Oh, that fell off. Hope it doesn't start a fire. Um, hmm. The drawer is perfect. Look at that extra piece of leaf. Let me just add some more flavor. Hold on, you want some more flavor, sir? That's getting kind of ridiculous. Anyways, it's a medium plus off the bat. It's got nice sourdough and twanginess. It's about 65% darkness. Not extremely dark for a sun grown, but darker than like a Connecticut shade. Uh, um, um, flavor's kind of long, but not super heavy. At least the flavor is long. Nice amount of black pepper spice. I, you know, I gotta admit, like, now the flavor's getting really long, a little strong on the tongue. That's right off the bat. I need to touch up one spot. Anyways, I had to touch that up because when I was using the long piece of tobacco as, a, as an addition to the foot, anyways, I messed it up. That's my fault. I like this cigar. Mmm, creamy coffee, nutty, nice amount of sourdough, black pepper. Uh, there is nothing. There's nothing bad about this. If you like cigars like Casa Cuba, and my God, this is coming even a lower price because even that three and a half inch by 50, I mean, for $6. So even if you had an extra inch or inch and a half around similar Robusto, the Robusto Casa Cuba is still now, they're going to cost you even in Florida, maybe $11, $12 because even some of the prices just recently went up on everything. Hmm.
do this, uh, this cigar is a home run. It smokes like a really well-made cigar. It tastes like a really well-made cigar. That is really good tobacco. I know the firecracker thing might seem like a gimmick. Now, granted, it comes in three different things. There's a green one that's the Connecticut, which I haven't tried or ever seen. And I'm not sure what the other one was. I don't remember. But this is the Sun Grown. This is the, I think, the original. Let's get the... So this classic firecracker. Dude, buy a box of this. Six bucks? Oh my god. Getting more pungent too. Like a real fermented taste. I'm gonna come back here. I don't wanna make this a long review, but all I can say is the flavor on this, the draw is phenomenal. Um, it's a medium plus, long finish. The finish is getting heavier. Um, it's not going to be a profile that you never tasted before overall of notes you haven't had, but it, the quality on it and the texture is really quite nice. Um, zero bad. This is like a fun, lively little cigar. Mm. My God, yeah, it's just getting stronger and more fun. This would be perfect, like with the coffee, espresso, uh, even even early morning if you would want to have a more lively but not a dark cigar. I like I, I with the size and everything. Oh, fuck yeah, man. Fuck, dude. Yeah. It, <laughs> this this shit's getting me fucking. I don't want to use the word excited because then you're gonna think that my my eight inch dong is uh, you know somehow closer to you. But mm. what a cherry on that too. Uh, nothing bad to say about it great job um, that burns a little funny because I burned that tobacco around that but uh, that's uh, on me you, I wouldn't recommend doing that that was kind of silly I didn't have to do that I just didn't want to waste that tobacco mm. yeah yep it's not obviously the best cigar made by United for probably you know, Adder Bay and other cigars but the this does this doesn't even feel like well it's it's just a value out of me or it's it's a yard cigar for out of me. Nah, dude, like do yourself a favor favor and buy yourself a box of these Sunny Grow six dollars a piece. Bro. Bro, that that's really good quality tobacco and a really good blend. And it's coming in stronger, uh, and not as smooth, but stronger than like an out of base. So Depends your cup of tea. For people that, if you love Atabe, I'm not saying you're going to love this. But if you find Atabe not strong enough, maybe too smooth due to all the age, this younger tobacco on this, uh, but still good tobacco, but this younger tobacco might seem more lively in your cup of tea. I like both, but I'll see. I'm saying not rich and I can't be out there just flexing Atabe. Um, one day I will, though. One day. I got, I got four years left of child support. That being said, um, quite spicy, picking up, sourdough, nutty, nice coffee note, nothing bad to say about it. Mm. Right there, went to medium full. I, that dude, dude, six dollars for any cigar from Atta, baby. And this is a really good blend. First time having this firecracker. There is the Bandolero firecracker. But um, this is the sun-grown, just fire crack. Well, you know, deep into the cigar, you're going to get a good half hour out of this stick. You know, I still have another probably 10 minutes left. Uh, I enjoyed it. It was enjoyable. I'm not going to say it's like, well, shit, it's the best cigar you ever had. But I'm telling you right now, for six bucks, yeah, six bucks, I'd rather smoke this than Pearl Del Mar. Uh, at this point, it's, even though it's a little smaller than like the Pearl Del Mar Robusto, it's coming in at a lower price point. Really nice, rich cedar notes. Slightly earthy, black peppers, lively. It's nutty. A little sourdough twanginess. It's an enjoyable cigar. It, it's an enjoyable cigar. It's almost like, it, it almost feels like a, like if it was a Connecticut Shade cigar that was darker, that, but had more power. And twanginess to it and earthiness to it and more spice than normal 
and um, but the heaviness is really nice. Um, it, it, it's an enjoyable cigar. It's not boring. It's not weak. You know, it's obviously not as refined as Byron or Adam, you know, or even Bandolero. But um, my goodness, for six bucks, and I'm not just saying because it's only six dollars, um, but uh, it's really, really tasting quite nice. The draw on this thing is like effortless, like effortless, really nice. So, really good quality, um, great flavor really insane low price if you can find them buy yourself a box or at least a five pack you're gonna have a good time with these good size when you're fishing or at the shooting range you know what i'm saying though no, whatever don't take a trip you know it's only a three and a half inch cigar so it, you know it gives you a lot of um availability so you, if you might not be able to commit to a tour or a quarter or a church or maybe even a booster this might be perfect for a 30 minute lunch break, you know, we're, you know, we have an hour lunch break, but you want to eat your lunch and, and then smoke a cigar for 30, 35 minutes. And, uh, but it's not going to kick your ass, but, you know, it, it's, it, it's, it's, it's just a perfect size to relax for like 30 minutes, 30, 30, 35 minutes, have a good time. Um, is what it is. I'm not going to touch that up. That's the side that, uh, I left, you know, where I touched up before with the tobacco. Uh, putting on that. That's my fault, though. I didn't have my cutter. I don't know where the hell I did my cutter. It's probably going to self-correct that straight through it, but I'm not even, I'm not even I'm going to leave that alone. So, um, don't take the, my advice, don't take the firecracker tail and put it over the cap. I mean, over the foot when you light it and smoke it. It's just, it's just that definitely, uh, that definitely tweaked the cigar. That, that's, that's my fault. Um, <laughs> I'm still glad I did it one time though. It's, I don't know why. I just I just wanted to use that tobacco. I'm gonna give it. It's a solid 4.51. How about that? It's not some like world class cigar, but it's really enjoyable. Um, it's like a very good blend and a really stupid price from a really great solid brand, you know, out of a company, uh, United, and. Um, you're going to have fun with this. Um, especially if you're new to cigars and you want to try some good quality from a really reputable brand, but at a really low price. Um, nothing bad to say about it. Nothing bad to say about it. It's, it's, a, it's a... You know, most of the time people say sun grown. And sometimes it's still... It could be 70, 75% dark. This is uh, really 65% and uh, it's not really that dark of a cigar. We're getting plenty of flavor, and the, the finish is really picked up. So, we're done here. I'll see you around. Stay fresh. 451.